we just got out there. We parked next to this truck. We just pulled up next to him. We just got out there to open the hood. It's 27 degrees right now in Illinois. Our truck want to overheat because we need to put coolant in it. Coolant has been really running low for my truck. about our storm, which is providing a severe weather threat to a lot of different places as we enter into 2021. Nights, 
you know, nighttime when they're driving. As y'all see, you know, it just build up, build up, and by the time the sun come out, that's what you get. We have to pull over at the pilot. We got the front of our truck. Look, look, there's ice right here. I gotta get that off. But look at our windshield. Solid. Solid as a Solid ice. Oh, there's no that windshield. But look at this. Huh, just so y'all can see, look at all of this that I just knocked off the landing gear. Like, <laughs> all this snow. So, pretty much, as y'all can see, all the ice, all of the ice, all of this ice just came off our truck. We had ice. Y'all see how thick that ice is? That was just covering up my lights. So it looked like my lights weren't even on, so I had to take that off. We got, we got a lot of ice off, so that's good. Y'all see how thick that ice is? driving all night he accumulated like a an inch i say that's about an inch thick of ice on everything that we had out there as you guys seen from the ice that was on the ground we knocked all that ice off the truck off the of the truck so the airflow could get to the engine and stuff like that so we had to take that off it was like a thick layer of ice covering up the lights which i showed y'all so we had to knock that off so my lights could actually shine through because it didn't even look like I had my lights on. Then uh, Vaughn took the ice off of the <laughs> the windshield wiper. So we had to do that. Y'all see how thick that ice was. That was on there all night. Not all night long, but that was the buildup of me driving overnight. So driving at night in the winter time ain't no joke. Especially when you drive through a winter storm. Like pretty much I was driving through a winter storm. And then I still got three hours left to drive in this mess. And it's supposed to be, it's going to be snowing the whole entire time. I'm like, oh my God, I don't want to drive in this anymore. I just want to go to sleep. But it is what it is. That's how you get your money. We really came from Whitestown, Indiana. Then we went up to Lamont, Illinois, which is like right outside of Chicago. And we pretty much going from Chicago, Illinois, all the way to Ontario, California. Right now we're in Kansas and we ended up getting caught in a snowstorm. So that's pretty much what we're doing right now. But we getting the miles done from Chicago all the way to Cali. Definitely some good miles. So driving in the winter ain't no joke. I know I talked about this the last winter that I drove, but I really mean it. Don't get out here thinking this shit is a game. Don't get out here thinking that this is gonna be some easy money because this is like some dangerous stuff. Like I showed y'all the roads that I was driving on, iced out. I did no more than 50 in this truck because the snow plows it didn't have a chance to come out yet on certain roads. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's really it's really crazy out here, y'all. So make sure when y'all come out here that y'all are really ready for this because you know you like I said you're hauling up to 80,000 pounds on your back and this ain't no light load like 80,000 pounds and them tra trailer tires slip you know it, it could be very dangerous so make sure y'all when y'all hear y'all are very cautious i always say if you want to train i feel like the best time to train is in the winter because you will have somebody with you in the truck who actually knows how to drive in the winter time and they can really give you that really really great advice on how to drive how to make sure you safe how to look out for black ice and teach you like different techniques to drive in the winter time so i really feel like if you go come out here and drive a truck i feel like the winter time is the best time to train i, I wouldn't say come out here and drive in the summertime because if you come out here and learn how to drive in the summertime when the winter time come and you by yourself you're not gonna know what to do so let me get back on this road and continue driving and i'm gonna come back to y'all when i finally get done which is like three hours from now y'all so i'm up here trying to go up this hill the tires is rolling so i can't even let me go up forward but the the sign said we can't go back that way we gotta go this way but it's so damn slippery it ain't even letting me go up the hill right now so this is the hill like i'm gonna try to go up y'all see this sign right here that say you can't turn yeah i ain't got no choice but to go up this hill so we're gonna see how that go
just got done driving and as y'all can see we had to pull over because it's literally a snowstorm outside let me let this down so y'all can get the gist of what's going on y'all see how hard it's snowing yeah we had to pull over the freeway was completely snow packed tires were sliding and the storm just got worse so for our safety we had to pull over sometimes when you out here in trucking these are the decisions that you have to make but at the end of the day you got to remember that no load is worth more than your life like the storm just started getting extremely bad and we gotta sit it out you guys know i've been up all night driving in the winter and at the end of my drive i had to make the decision for the truck that yeah we gotta pull up and wake this out because i'm not even gonna let bun driving this it's crazy out there like crazy so first day of the year first crazy stuff we finally crazy. made it out I just wanted to come to y'all and show y'all that even though we just went through a whole winter storm, just because it may be y'all first winter out and y'all might get to an area and the weather is really, really bad, but then all of a sudden you keep driving out that area and then look, you go get into a nice warm and a nice dry climate. Now we're in California and honey, let me tell you. We that got was literally like yesterday. Yesterday. Because today. today yesterday. Yeah, because it's January the 2nd right now, so. i to record this to let y'all know that, you know, you're not gonna be in it forever. So when y'all out there driving, make sure y'all drive safe and y'all be careful. So we gonna end this video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching this channel. If you guys wanna see more content like this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. Yeah, all right, y'all. Bye.